Hi everyone, and this is Andy with Blongo.com, and in this video we're going to test out if ChatGPT can code in Zoho Deluxe, which is the language you're going to use to create functions for different Zoho apps. All right, let's get started. Here we have a deal, and we want to create a task that's going to be linked to this deal. But this task has to be assigned to the estimator, which is a different field from the deal owner. The estimator is a lookup field, so the only way to accomplish this is by using a function. So let's use ChatGPT to code it. I'm going to switch to a different window where I have ChatGPT open. The prompt is going to be write a Zoho Deluge function for Zoho CRM that finds a deal based on the deal ID. Then it creates a task linked to the deal. The subject is follow up and the due date is three days after the task was created. And press enter. Here we have the code and it looks okay, but actually I would like to change the subject. So the new prompt is the task subject should be follow up plus the deal name and enter. Let's scroll down. And it looks like the code was updated. And now the deal underscore name is part of the subject. The second part of the function is to assign it to the estimator. So let's write a new prompt. Besides the deal, find the estimator linked to the deal. The estimator is a user field. Then assign the task to the estimator. All right, the code looks fine, so we're going to test it out. Before we do that, I wanted to mention that we have created a Zoho One course for admins. So if you're interested, check out the link in the description. Okay, let's select the code we're going to copy, which is this section only. And copy it. Back to our CRM window. And in the setup, go to functions. I already have it open on this tab. Now click on new function. Give it a name and display name. The category is going to be automation and click on create. Let's paste the code right here. And we're going to map the arguments we're passing to this function, which is the deal ID. So click on edit arguments, add deal underscore ID. The type is going to be string. Click on save. Now let's click on save and execute. The console is showing an error, and this is where we have to start troubleshooting. You can use Google or ChatGPT or even the Zoho Deluxe documentation to research the error you got. In this case, I think I know what the problem is. The add day function shouldn't have an S at the end, so I'm going to delete it. Let's try again. And now it says that the arguments don't match. I know a different way to get the due date, so I'm going to write it. But here we can see some of the issues that can arise by using ChatGPT to code. Okay, let's click on save and execute again. We need a DLD and I have one open on this tab. Let's copy the ID from the URL. Back to the function and paste. And now we got a different error message. This one is related to the task creation. It looks like there is a mandatory parameter that was not included by ChatGPT. So we're going to copy it and add it to the task parameters. The module is going to be deals. Let's try again. And this error is on me. I should have added a comma to the end of that line. Save and execute again. We have to get the deal ID. and click on save. And it looks like it worked. Let's go back to the deal and refresh the page. And there we have the task that we just created. If we open the activities, we can see that it was assigned to the estimator. The next step is to link this function to a workflow or a button, so it triggers when needed. We are not going to cover that in this video, but we have other Zoho CRM tutorials on this channel that might be helpful. I think ChatGPT might be helpful to get you started with the base deluge code, but the errors on the code can be tricky to troubleshoot if you don't know how to code in deluge already. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, please click the like button. If you are a Zoho admin and would like to learn more about how to integrate the different Zoho apps, we made a Zoho One course where we go over how to configure and integrate the top 10 most useful Zoho One apps. Check out the link in the description for more information. Thanks for watching.